So this video is like really private today and something that I probably would have never um, showed what a lot of people probably would never show um, just because it is like a really private um, procedure. Yeah, I guess so. A private procedure. But today I am going to share my journey with you guys. I guess like when we signed up for YouTube, we signed up for this. So I just wouldn't feel comfortable not showing you guys like why I've been out or like why we haven't been able to do vlogmas because I've been down and all this stuff so I just wanted to to share it with you guys and I don't know if you guys know but I was dealing a, with a lot after I had Zane like it was nothing like my first pregnancy um Zoe was just like a breeze and then when I had Zane I had him at 10 pounds 10 pounds and I had him vaginally so it was just it was really really hard on my body he was really really hard on my body he was a big boy in there um i gained 70 pounds during my pregnancy which is horrible but with zoe i think i gained like 60 or 65 so it's not that much but it is more um and then just like with work and then two kids and running my own business and just taking care of everything, being a mom and being a wife and all this stuff that I have to worry about and try to take care of myself. Like I literally just could not do it. And like my body was telling me like, Heather, you cannot do this. And my body literally just like shut down. I was putting together my store. We were about to do a grand reopening. So we moved from our old store, moved to a whole nother store, did so much reconstruction when I was like, about to have my baby in like a week i was still going to the store making sure everything was okay meeting with handyman's doing all that so and then one day the day before my opening um my grand reopening i woke up my makeup artist was here he was ready to be my face and he was like what's wrong with your face because i didn't know i just woke up because i heard the doorbell ring and i woke up and my face couldn't move my whole face was paralyzed so I was I was like, what am, what do I have? Like, what is this? And I thought I had a stroke. And then I was just like trying to find all these things. I went to my grand opening just so I could be there, so I could be a part with my team and whatever. So I still went and then after that, I went to the emergency room and they diagnosed me with something called Bell's palsy. And Bell's palsy is face paralysis. It's caused from stress and anxiety um and it literally my whole face was just like gone like i couldn't i had to tape my eye closed and i couldn't um i couldn't like drink out of a water bottle because my face like this side was numb like everything on this side was numb and then this side started getting numb and it was just so scary it was the scariest thing that I've ever been through in my entire life. And then after a couple weeks, because there, I was Googling all this stuff and they're like, oh, you're not gonna be able to cure it. Like it has to, you have to um, just, just wait it out and just let it be and eat healthy and exercise and do yoga and stuff. And then so Terrell started researching it for me. Like he took control because I was just like done. I'm like, I'm done. My face is gone. <laughs> I'm in the bed, I'm about to eat whatever I want. I'm in the bed, Don't. I'm not getting on Instagram, Snapchat, like nothing, like I'm done. I just thought like my career was just over. So he was like, no, I can't have Heather out here like this. So being the good husband that he is, he researched and researched, stayed up all night and found out that, um, yeah, he found a really good doctor for me. Her name's Maureen Kogan. She brought my face back in like three weeks but <clears throat> so even though she fixed my face in about three to four weeks and my face still isn't like how i used to be like i probably do need to go back and stuff but it's way better than it was so before that i just fell into like a deep deep 
like I mean after after the after the three weeks I just fell into like a deep deep depression and I'm just like it just messed me all the way up like it just put me so behind like I'm supposed to be so like motivational and like hit the ground running after I have a baby and just like get back to yourself and that was just like I don't care about anything like I don't care about anybody like I don't care whatever like I was just done I'm gonna cry so I was crying every single day, literally every day I was crying, I was mad, like I couldn't, it was just like the lowest of the low that I've ever been in my life and I didn't know how to come out of it and I'm still trying to come out of it. So yeah, I was just like at the lowest of my low that I've ever been, just like physically, mentally, like spiritually, everything, like everything was just gone. I was not Heather at all. Like, I didn't hang out with any of my friends. Like, probably lost, like, friendships during the process and just, like, missed out on work and just, like, missed out on my kids. Even though I was here with them every day, like, I probably wasn't as happy as I should have been. And it was just really bad. So, um, I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed with um, postpartum depression. So, I started taking medication for that. And I've been on the medication for, like six weeks now um and she said it's not going to start working until like after six weeks so hopefully something like kicks in and tries to start working um but at that after um like in the midst of me um getting diagnosed with postpartum depression i was like still working out trying to work out and like just trying to get it together and like going to the gym every morning, going to Soul Cycle, and like it just nothing was happening. Like not one pound like lost at all. Not no change in my body or nothing. So I'm just like, you know what? I need a head start, and um, I'm not doing it anymore. I need a head start. I'm not about to keep working my ass off like this. But um, so I decided to do lipo just conservative lipo just a little bit of lipo on my waist and like on my love handles and my back um and just my inner thighs like nothing major just a little lipo just to give me a little head start just to get me feeling a little bit confident um so so i wasn't sure if i was going to share that with you guys but i know that that's exactly what i wanted to do and then one day terrell was just like you should share it like you should tell people like what you're doing um you know like people want to know people are interested like it's 2019 people aren't gonna bash you like you should just like take them on your journey with you i mean for the most part basically postpartum and the depression part that's a lot of women out there i know all of y'all i i didn't know i didn't know it was serious i thought it was some bullshit. you know what i'm saying but a lot of women out there are going through this so and you know, it is very know. serious like postpartum depression is very serious i just want to thank everyone who's ever supported me and like still sticking with me through this hard time and still like following me and still you know calling me your style inspo and uh whatever you know um i know i'm gonna come back and like be better than before for y'all and be serving fit i'm so excited there's so many clothes that i want to wear and so much stuff that i want to do but i had to just take this time and just like try to get over this on my own oh and then i just also want to let y'all know that lipo is not just gonna like make me the skinniest girl ever like if you've ever gotten lipo you know like the scale doesn't change so you still have to put in the work um and actually lose the weight so it's just really conservative lipo i still have to to diet and exercise just like in, like there's no way around that diet and exercise and so that's what i'm going to be on now um just like eating right and just trying to work out and do something every single day trying to get my schedule right it's so hard with like running your own business wanting to be there every second of the day and then wanting to work out and then wanting to come home and cook and do laundry and do all it's like so much stuff that like a woman is expected to do but I, that also i want to do so just being in better shape and stuff like that i think that will help me but yeah i mean i love you no matter what <laughs> you're one of the most beautiful people i've ever met 
in my life. I mean, look at her before she even do anything to herself. She's a bad one, first of all. You're Thank a you. great mother. I see you in here pounding and working and struggling and still for your business every day. You know what I'm saying? You're I love you to death. You, I will do anything for you and you should be happy. I want you to be happy. So whatever it takes for you to be happy, you deserve it because no one there's not a lot of people in this world that can go through that. It's, there's not a lot of people what in this world. <laughs> Can't find her little tissue, but there's not a lot of people that can go through that. Postpartum, Bell's palsy, still have two kids in here, and still keeping her head up as much as he can. Still dealing with me on her ass. Um, it's, there's not a lot of people that can go through that. So you deserve to be happy, for one. And if this is what you want to do, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit. Whatever any one of you guys want to do out there to make you happy, do it. And I'm going to support you to the end, period. So I love you. And I know you guys love her, so make sure um, you watch this video to the end. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, tell her you love her too. And, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> and hit the bell up on top. All that grind. You still gotta subscribe. But yeah, here we go, y'all. Gonna watch. Go ahead. See how pretty this drive is in California. On the 405, early morning, in between these mountains. Good morning, y'all. So I am on my way to get my surgery. I have a super curly all call time. It's like five o'clock in the morning. Um, I like to get in there early. You know, I have kids and I have shit to do, even though I'm not gonna be able to do anything after this. But still, I like to start early, get in. My procedure starts at six. Um, so yeah, I'm about to walk y'all through this whole process with me. Um, it's a very private process, but I decided to share it with you guys today. I think it'll be cool. So I'm about to go to Dr. J's office now and he will just like explain a little bit more of what we're doing today, show you guys the process. Um, and yeah, I'll see you after I'm a bad bitch. So we're here pulling up. Say a prayer for me. I said a prayer for me and my babies. I had to tell Zoe, I'm like, I'm getting surgery, Zoe. I'm not gonna be able to hold you, and I'm gonna be hurt, and I'm gonna be bandaged up. And she was like, okay, mommy. She is like, you can only kiss me? I'm like, yep, I can kiss you. I love her. They're calling me. Wait, I'm going up, because I'm late. They said be there at 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. sharp. 6.30, but, you know. Let's check out the before. He's still a bad one. Whoa! <laughs> you feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Like, I'm not even scared or nothing, but I know once I get in that bed, I'm gonna be scared. And the anesthesiologist comes in, I'm gonna be scared. Most people probably already think I look good, but I'm just not comfortable with myself. I've never been this big, ever. In my life, even when I was a big girl, I never was this big. I got two kids. Zane's 10 pound ass messed me all up. But let's just take a moment for the, oh, sorry. Man, let's just take a moment right quick because you already got ass. And I mean, <laughs> yeah, don't touch that, you know what I'm saying? And, don't touch this little bomb ass face you got right here, you feel me? All the rest of this shit you talking about, go ahead and do your thing, man. 
Shout out to Terrell for supporting me and being so happy he recorded me at 5 a.m. and just coming into the doctor with me and doing all this with me. Most people have an assistant or a bestie and I have Terrell. Playing with the titties like, ah! C cup or D cup, which one you want? You want these titties? We finna give her some titties, y'all. Here, take this D cup. <laughs> I got you. So I'm here changed and dressed, and I have on this, the hairnet that's supposed to, that my hair is gonna tie up in, and then just this gown, and then I have these compression socks on. Um, I have to keep these on for like a week. I guess they just help with like swelling and like like any blood clots. I'm like, I'm gonna have a lot of fluid in my body after I get the lipo. Um, they help me to stay hydrated. But I'm not adding nothing to myself. I'm just trying to take away from myself and be the skinniest Heather that I can be. Is the back out in this gown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All you're going to the stuff. So you're going to take here, 100, here, and my back. 100. And then she woke me up on my dead sleep, y'all. I ain't got no hat on. Now I'm looking toe up, but I'm here to support my baby. <laughs> Damn, I can't even call her my baby. You know what I'm saying? Baby, you don't. I love you, though, man. <laughs> you're going to go do this surgery, girl. <laughs> She a bad one to me. I don't know what, you know what I'm saying? Fat, skinny, I don't give a damn what's going on. I, I really can't even tell, to be honest with you. You're damn lying. I've never, I didn't know. I don't even know what's going on. I mean, I know you gained a little weight, but it ain't like stupid, crazy, like. A little? You gained a little weight, but how, how I'ma know like, ooh, she gained like 70 pounds. Like, how I'ma know that, like. The booty is still the booty, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's still crazy, no matter what. So, I really don't give a shit, so. I couldn't put the other on this morning, and I'm just like, now I'm just like, hold on, what's <laughs> dampening there? I'm just ugly, so. No, you're so. cute. You're pretty cute to me. <clears throat> All the ugly dudes got the bad ones, you know what I mean? And the skinny ones. <laughs> All the skinny guys. You gotta be ugly to have a bad one, you feel me? I mean, basically. <laughs> All the cute guys don't have cute girlfriends. It's weird. That's because y'all squares. <laughs> Corny. Real talk. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Uh, I usually start videoing in the pre-op room, but today this lovely patient and friend of mine wanted me to start the video inside the operating room. So liposuction basically addresses the fat, not the skin. The techniques we use during the liposuction procedure, the skin does retract back to some extent, but it does not remove any excess loose skin. So the results do depend on skin elasticity, which is different from one patient to another. Why a thorough consultation is so essential to differentiate between fat and skin and review different options because there's so many options to get a perfect result. We've discussed scar tissue, different options, and finally she convinced me to do her liposuction, although she does look very good. So it's more of fine tuning. One main factor that does affect your liposuction results is intra-abdominal fat versus the fat under the skin. Liposuction only addresses the fat that's under the skin, not the fat that's beyond the muscle, which is called the visceral fat, or mental fat, or intra-abdominal fat. I'll be patient and friend of mine. I'm gonna go over every single little area that we're gonna do liposuction on. One is the brawler area. This is the area underneath the bra, which is skin and fat. It's comprised of skin and fat. Liposuction will address the fat and to some extent will help the skin retract back, but you may still have a fold. Depth of the fold will depend on skin elasticity as well. It's not only the fat, 
but would be the skin elasticity at the same time. It's always good to have the best surgeon the very first time around. As you can see, there is no blood in the lipoaspirate. It's beautiful buttery fat. You have to be in the right plane. The move should be very, very gentle. So that'll reduce the amount of swelling and post-operative pain. Now I'm in the sacral area. Again, gentle move, right plane, no blood in the lipoaspirate. You can see she has a beautiful, smooth contours of all the liposuction areas. There's no fold anymore. The thickness of this skin is very, very minimal. Just enough fat to give some moisture and texture. There's no more fat under this skin to be liposuctioned. Very nice and smooth contours. Now I'm gonna put her on her back and start on the front. The key to a good liposuction is to leave fat where there needs to be volume. So it's not always hollowing out the skin. So this is the inner knee. We liposuction the inner knee. We do not perform liposuction on the outer knee, front of the knee, or behind the knee. This is the area very, very popular and common for liposuction, and I'm gonna take this fat out. Moves are gentle, there are vital structures around the knee, nerves, big vessels, so you really have to know what you're doing when it comes to the knee. This is the inner arm. This is the area that we do liposuction on. We don't liposuction over the biceps or posterior arm. Very common area for liposuction. Again, the key is to be conservative. Just the right amount to give her a beautiful contour, but at the same time, not to leave loose skin. Because again, this area moves. So if you hollow it out and you have loose skin, when she moves her arm, it won't be as elegant. No blood in the lipo aspirate. The moves are very, very gentle. And you have to be in the right plane. So when you're in the right plane, you can fly. Healthy patient, we entertain the idea of performing a mini brachioplasty or mini arm lift to remove the excess skin. We did the liposuction. You can see what a major difference liposuction did. We talked about staging the procedure, doing the liposuction at this stage. If she desires, she can later on do a mini brachioplasty to remove that little bit of an excess skin. But already, she looks amazing. Great example how every single patient is individualized and planning is so specific. In this lovely patient, we entertain the idea of doing a mini brachioplasty or a mini arm lift to remove that excess skin. Then we went over the trade-off, the recovery, and the incision, and then we decided on doing a liposuction at this stage, and you can see how beautiful the contour is already without any extra incisions. The difference the liposuction will make is the fat under the skin. So this is the difference you're gonna see and you can achieve a really, really good result, a well-defined abdomen, but at the same time, smooth. The rest is inside the tummy, which is the intra-abdominal fat. So that's not the fat that we can remove surgically. That's only with diet and exercise. On the other hand, she has a really good amount of fat on each flank or the love handle. So this is going to make a big difference in her. We're gonna give her a beautiful curve and a very nice waist because I worked on it from the back, on the side, and now I'm gonna work on it more from the front. The tummy, the result will be not as dramatic due to the intra-abdominal fat. We use the incision inside the belly button. So there is no scars on her tummy. It will be inconspicuous, well hidden. We're targeting the fat under the skin. Now we're on the final area. Wings are very, very gentle. We take our time to give her the right curve. And it'll look amazing after this. The patient is a great example of liposuction of multiple areas. We're done with the front. Beautiful, smooth tummy with gorgeous curves on the side. 
She's got a gorgeous waist on the sides, very nice and feminine, proportionate to her body. Thank you so much for following us, and I'm so grateful for this patient to share her story. Heather just hit the recovery room, so she didn't go straight to the house because the doctor said she might be leaking fluid from the side or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna check it out though. I ain't gonna show y'all everything, but I'm gonna try to show y'all as much as I can. So. Going in her room now. In here. With this on. <laughs> don't play with me either. You're looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she broke her neck, y'all, so she got <laughs> she gotta wear this bullshit. Oh <laughs> you gotta wear your little compression belt. Mm -hmm. Or your stomach. I mean, he didn't even suit. really do your stomach. What do you do? Your your waist, the side, or what do you do? The sides and the back. Oh, okay. Took a little fat out of there. Got a little recovery room going on. Oh, this is nice. Got it going on in here, man. Got a TV going on. Got a little view. Oh, dog. That's out. It's a whole backyard. This a whole damn hospital, man. This what happens when you balling. You feel me? You don't want to go home. Oh, I'm, I'm messing around. Shut up. You get on that. This you doing too much. You gotta walk up out of here on that. I had to walk a lap yesterday. What? Mm -hmm. I should probably do it again today. You wanna walk a lap with me? Walk a lap? <laughs> she lost her damn mind, huh, y'all? About to walk a lap with her until we to the house. at home now y'all I got her a walkie talkie so she can communicate with me <laughs> set her up a little tray you feel me apple's getting old she don't need to be eating that uh, I don't know what the hell this is I think she got to breathe and it's losing breath she got a blow in it to see how much air she got in the chest I don't know <laughs> oh okay yeah but she hung she looking toe up. We ain't going to put her out there like that. What up, y'all? Obviously, she can't close out this video with me, so I'm going to do it by myself. Probably going to be doing it by myself a couple more times. I don't know, depending on how she feeling. But make sure y'all subscribe to this channel right now. Make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. And most importantly, make sure y'all comment and show Heather some love, man. You feel me? And hit that post notification bell so videos like this can come straight to your phone, your email, and you can get it before everybody else tap in. So thank y'all for watching, man. Man, I love y'all. Peace, gang. We out.